For those that are new here or just catching this, me and John are crypto miners. We used to be hobbyists, and now we've started a complete mine. We've went from one or two machines into full-blown, full-scale, pushing this on to the next level, and we're here to document our journey. In this video today, I'm going to show you uh, where to get the latest version of the iPole uh, firmware and install it onto your device. This can be a little tricky to find. I know other channels have went out and showed you where you can get it if you if you miss those uh, videos. But here, I'm just going to show you uh, how you can get it. One, you can come directly to our forum. Uh, this this firmware, if you're like myself, you know you're on Twitter, you're looking around trying to find. Uh, the latest and greatest uh, you've been seeing. You just recently got your iPolo device. You've been uh, Googling things and you noticed uh, pools like uh, Ezil are adopting the iPolo for dual mining and things like that. And you're looking to see if you can get that extra profit with Zill and uh, doing boosts and things like that. Uh, so there's, there's firmware for that for these devices. Uh, that firmware... That firmware itself, uh, just like Ezil here on their Twitter, basically says, you know, they can boost your profits. Uh, they do have new ports to accommodate also this, but it, the ports are not uh, enough, if that makes sense. Uh, basically, you need to update your firmware on your iPolo device, and this is basically uh, where you can find it. I'm going to give you a couple different places, and from there, you can just, you know, pick who you trust the most, and from there, yeah. You get this firmware and then I'll show you how to upload it. So basically the first place, uh, since we're doing the video on this, you can always find it on our forum. Uh, the forum itself under categories, questions and answers. Uh, so go into questions and answers and I put in the uh, post here so you can actually find it. Here is a link to our GitHub. If you just want to take that and go over to our GitHub. Here you go, uh, firmware, firmware bin, uh, and then you just download. Uh, so you're in our GitHub and bam, there you go. So that's the number one place that you can go to. Just go ahead and click that link. Put all this in the description below too. Another, uh, just go ahead and Google Rabid Mining. Uh, he's been all over this. Rabid Mining, uh, and then you just want to go to his website rabbitmining.com and here we go uh, so he's got his YouTube thing like that and we want to go to uh, I think ASICs here it is boom firmware first the very first top one obviously you've seen 398 at the time of this video have downloaded this firmware again same firmware version 0.80.115 and as he states too, you know, Zill Boost, all iPolo miners. Uh, this really applies for the, the V1s, uh, the minis, basically. The last place, and, and honestly, if you, you don't trust myself or Rabbit Mining, uh, you can just go straight to iPolo.com. We're online, it says. Uh, go ahead, chat now, ask them for the firmware, and they'll give you a link to download it. They don't have it hosted from what I've seen thus far uh v series firmware yeah so it's not on here just yet uh on their firmware so you have to ask them for it again if you don't trust myself or rabid mining uh coastal crypto or rabid mining uh you can find it again on our github uh, and we have links to that in our forum so now you've downloaded it you want to get everything going what you're going to do is you're going to go to your device you're going to log in you know, the basic stuff, the basic password, making sure you change that. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to firmware upgrade. And then basically you'll have your image on your desktop. You're going to go ahead and click flash image, browse, find the file. Go ahead and do, I've already done it on this one. As you can see on this file right here, uh, I already have the firmware uploaded onto it. Now I will just a word of advice. This is in total probably going to take you 15 minutes, okay? So when you do get a button or when you flat start flashing, it's going to ask you, do you want to uh, keep the settings in place? Uh, I would uncheck that box. You'll see the pop-up when it actually says that. Uncheck that. Uh, go ahead and then continue proceeding further to get the 
firmware ready to go uh, or uploaded. And then from there, again, this is probably going to take 15 minutes. So let it do its thing. It, the browser will tell you that you may have to refresh. So give it like a couple minutes, then refresh the screen, log back into the machine, make sure that you've you got the updated firmware actually loaded, uh, and then start going into your minor configuration and, and set your pool and things like that. It's not already set. If you guys have any questions or need some help, always feel free to hit us up on Twitter. Uh, shoot a comment down below while we respond to basically all comments, questions, concerns, even on YouTube from there. Uh, and it's a short one, but feel free to reach out if you guys have any problems. Peace out.